Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Light Force Enforcer 4C 140mm LED Spotlight. So this is the box here guys, so I'll just open it up and show you everything that comes in the box. So we've got a uh, universal uh, charging adapter, so that's from 100 up to 240 volts. We've got a whole heap of connections here for it, so no matter what country you're in, you can find an adapter that's going to um, suit. got a uh, cigarette lighter adapter and we've got the user manual here and also a uh, light force sticker so this is it um, the spotlight itself so look it's it's like the previous 140 mil LED enforcers that I've reviewed it's made just from this tough polymer housing um, it's weatherproof um, yeah look I've had absolutely no problems with these whatsoever so what's the improvements over this model, you know, compared to uh, previous models? Well, uh, this one here, which is um, actually um, the product code is EF140LED4C. And why they say 4C is there's four colors. So that's one of the improvements. Also, too, it's a 6 watt um, up from 3 watt LED spotlight. So basically, that's going to give you four times the surface area or double the beam width um, over previous models. So there is four colors, as I say. So when you do switch it on, right, so we've got the normal white light. If you then use the uh, lever on the side here to go down, it'll turn to um, whatever color you've got it set on. So at the moment, I've got it on amber. And there's a switch at the back here. So you press it, and then it goes to red. Then it goes to green, back to amber. So whatever you want to leave it on. So say you want it on red there, you're out going after foxes. You can switch to the white light and then switch straight back, uh, you know, to the red light. So it's really a great idea. So what would the different colors, you know, be for? Then obviously you use the white just for your normal uh, spotlighting. You know, red is fantastic for foxes. Um, green, you know, green is actually really good um, if you're out fishing, you know, because you actually don't scare away the fish. Uh, and an amber light is really good for when you want to uh, be able to reflect the eyes off um, you know different animals the best so you know you've got the different choices there it's really good uh, because it is up to six watts uh, from three watts so you've got half the runtime so you've got about two hours of runtime um, with this spotlight with an extra hour on reserve mode you know once you actually um, run out of uh, the main part of the battery now it does have uh, LED charging indicators at the bottom, so all you need to do is just press in and then you can see what level it's at there. So obviously I need to charge this up as it's um, only the bottom two lights there. But I have already been using this spotlight guys, I've been, um, the last week actually, I've been getting around the farm with it and really putting it to the test. Um, and I'm really quite happy with it, it's um, definitely held up and um, I've had no problems with it and the runtime on it is actually very accurate. You know, you'll get a lot of spotlights where they'll say, oh, you know, approximately an hour and a half or an hour or two hours of runtime. And then, you know, that's like plus or minus <laughs> half an hour. So. so it is very lightweight too, uh, 490 grams or 17.28 ounces. Now the uh, color temperature is uh, 4000 Kelvin. So it's really good for identifying game um, as opposed to, you know, a higher Kelvin rating, which does seem to um, blind out your um, actual ability to identify game, like everything becomes really too white um, once you go right up. Now I did demonstrate that on a previous uh, Light Force review. If you want to have a look, um, you know, have a look at the other Light Force videos that I've done. Now um, the charge time on this is two and a half hours um, max charge time, which is great because um, yeah, that's not too long. I've look, I know I've got other LED spotlights. And um, you know I have to leave them on charge virtually overnight, so two and a half hours is really good. Now you've got a three-year uh, warranty on this spotlight. Um, that's excluding the internal battery, though. So um, look, it's a high-quality spotlight. You know, made in Australia. It's got a nice textured grip here. It's just really quite a nice spotlight. Um, what I want to test out um, which I've already had a look at as I say because I've been using it on the farm but I'll do some actual specific tests uh, shortly 
is um, you know just demonstrating how this is brighter than previous models, which is really good because the previous models I, I just wasn't a hundred percent sold on them. You know, good product and everything like that, but I wanted something that was brighter that gave me that wider beam, so that you can just identify more game, and they seem to have satisfied it with this. So. Um, you can still, I'll add here too guys, um, the light force battery here. If you add this to the bottom of it, you do double, um, well, more than double actually, your runtime. Normally if it's a three watt version, it's about 18 and a half hours. So I'm assuming with the six watt version, it's gonna be around about that nine hours of runtime, which is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, that, that is a good night's worth of spotlighting, isn't it? As for the actual distance on the beam, they advertise the reach to 334 meters or 365 yards. Um, look, you can definitely see that the light projects to that. Um, however, we'll show you on camera, we'll try to pick it up as best as we can to show you how it actually looks you know, in reality. Recommended retail price on this uh, spotlight, $362.80, um, as you've seen here with everything in the box. So look, not an ultra cheap spotlight, definitely not as cheap as some of the Chinese imports, but you've got quality Australian made here. Anyhow, let's get out on the farm now, guys. Um, I wanna put this through several different tests and show you what it's made of. Okay, so I just wanna start with showing you the beam and you can see how it really shows the uh, LED bulb with the square in the middle here. Now, obviously the good thing about the light force light is you can make it quite larger you know, depending on your situation. So that's one of the really good things about it. Now I'll show you too with just uh, switching it over to the amber light. Okay, so we've got the amber light there and then put it onto red, onto green, back onto amber, and then we can switch it back up onto the white light. So you can see it's, it's fairly bright. It's definitely brighter than previous models. Okay, so we're just scanning around the paddock here, just sort of between 50 and about 75 yards. And as you can see, it uh, certainly lights up the area. I mean, if we go out to a wider, a wider beam, um, it's really good. It just gives you um, more surface area of light. So scanning around here, I mean, look, if there's game around here, definitely there's gonna be enough light to be able to pick it up. So, you know, from out to that 50 to 100 yards, definitely no problem at all. It's uh, very bright. Now if we go over to uh, the red beam. Okay, so you can see there like, you know, ample, you know, for uh, scanning around for foxes and stuff. However, with the actual um, different um, LED colors, I really wouldn't be using them over 100 yards. I mean, that's to me just the practical sort of uh, usage or, or distance that I would be using this at. Okay, so we've spotted a roo here. Um, he's only about 75 yards from us. But um, you can see there like clearly, you know, it lights him up, no problem at all. What I might do is just let's just go over to the amber. See how the eyes really stand out? And that's why the uh, amber light is fairly effective because, you know, you're gonna pick up the eyes when you're scanning around in the scrub. Okay, so we're looking at a bush here, guys, at 150 yards. Now, we're having a bit of trouble with the camera because the camera needs a bit of light to pick up on. But with the naked eye, um, you know, you can clearly see it. I honestly wouldn't be shooting past this distance, though, uh, with this light. Um, to me, it's you, you're really struggling too much to actually try to make out any sort of game. But it definitely gets out there, I'd say, my personal uh, view on it, 150 yards tops. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Light Force Enforcer. Now uh, look, the spotlights definitely had some improvements, no two ways about it, definitely uh, brighter than the older 3 watt version. So you know, really good. On the positives of it, I definitely love to have the adjustable lens on it. 
um, you know, depending on where I'm using this, I mean, if I'm using it close up, I want to open that right up and just get a, a bigger, wider throw of light. And then if I'm going to be looking at greater distance, I want it a bit thinner just so I can, uh, you know, zoom in on different game. So really good there. Um, you know, I've never had any problem with spotlights from Lightforce. Um, they've never failed me. And, uh, you know, I've been using this for some time now and it just hasn't let me down. So, you know, 10 out of 10 for them for that. Uh, look, on the negatives, would I like to see it brighter? Yeah, I would. Um, is it quite practical? Yes, it is. So, um, you know, in saying that, I'm quite happy to use this. However, you know, down the track as technology gets better, I'd love to see it, you know, another two or four times brighter than what it currently is. However, for that uh, closer range, um, you know, even out to sort of 150 yards there, you've got a handheld spotlight that doesn't require any sort of battery source, you know, with cords and stuff like that, because everything's built in. It's just fantastic for that use. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.